and we stood on 92 million dollars of concrete. What a lovely morning. A milkshake for breakfast. What a view for a bar. You'll have no room in your case before long. Gotta find something to match my shoes. Proper hive of activity in the kitchen tonight. We are just checking out of our Airbnb. We will actually leave a comment with the link to the Airbnb if you are in the area and you do want to stay here. It's been very nice. The aircon's been brilliant. The duvet, oh my god, that was amazing. The pillars, not so. Um, I love the pillars. They were a bit, I like, you know what I'm like for my pillars. But um, it takes a lot for me not to be comfy in a bed. And this bed was very comfortable. It was very nice bed actually, very very cosy all night, and the aircon was nice and icy, which kept me the uh, kept me warm. Anyway, so today we are still in St Petersburg, and we are heading to St Pete's Pier. It is a ninety-two million dollar pier. It's only been open a few years, I do believe. It was scheduled um, to open on the thirtieth of May, two thousand and twenty, but due to COVID, it was postponed. Well, there you go. We've been looking it up. Um, so we are going to up? go there. My dad actually found this and he's been looking it up on YouTube before we came because he wanted to come to St. Petersburg. We've not looked it up. He really wants to see this pier. So we're going to go on our way back to Orlando. Hopefully, I'm going to say this again, whether it'll happen, who knows. The weather will stay good and we can get on the Icon Wheel today. It's not looking great today at the minute, but we'll there's see. no rain clouds in the area or forecast. So we'll see. We're here on the pier, so there's plenty of parking. It is a, uh, a weekday, so it's quite quiet. I think it's um, two dollars per hour to park. I think we've just gone for three hours and it's five dollars fifty, so I'm not sure how that worked out, but that's what it is. Um, so um, we're just going to start walking down the pier, right? So St. Pier, St. Pete's Pier is actually um, in downtown. You can see all the skyscrapers behind me. We're not actually going there. We're going to have uh, end, end to the end of the end of the pier, and there's an upside down pyramid, which is actually a restaurant and a grill and things like that. So we're going to check it out. See what else is down there. Right at the side of the pier, there must be a uh, runway because we've just seen the uh, airplanes coming in. There is. I think Looks it's, as if it's going straight down into sea. I think it's. I'm, I'm sure when I looked on the map, it was like a military base, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Right, so this may look like the um, netting that they use in Disney rides to catch your uh, sunglasses. sunglasses when you go on a ride. But it's actually an art installation called Bending Arc by Jenna Eckelman. So the top bit's made of hexagons. Yeah. So there's a few restaurants and bistros and things like that on the pier, about five to six different ones. There's the first one we've come across, Spa Beach Bistro. Looks like they're just getting ready to open. Stone-fired pizzas and ice cream. Even though we're not actually in the sea, we're actually facing towards Tampa Bay at the moment. It's actually got its own little beach with white sands. Finally, some seats you can sit on on a beach without having to pay, although they don't look very comfortable. These seats are actually quite comfortable. They don't look it, but they are. And that's one of the other restaurants which we'll go check out when we get down there. So the inverted pyramid that I, that I referenced actually closed in 2013 after being opened since 1973 um, because it was plagued with problems and it was part of the city-wide renovation to try and improve the image, the image of the city. At the same time they removed 6,000 green benches from the city as well because it was the butt of comedian jokes and things like that. Just enjoying a little bit of downtime on the beach. It's getting really warm now. It was perfect temperature, beautiful, but uh, it's getting a little warm. 
Fancy a milkshake for breakfast. A milkshake for breakfast? Yeah. Let me ask if everybody else is hungry for breakfast. That question. Really. Hungry for breakfast? Uh, for a, a croissant and a coffee or something. Croissant and a coffee. Hungry for breakfast? Yeah. Very hungry. Very hungry. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> hungry. Starving. Hungry. Yeah, well, Right, sure. let's carry on walking then. <laughs> the runway is just there behind that uh, little trolley monorail thing. Uh, the aeroplane just landed. I remember it well doing that. You used to do that, didn't you? In and out of Lee's Bradford Airport every dinner time in the lunch hour. Just going to land for they're just going for breakfast on the pier. You can tell how stable it's flying that it's um like an experienced pilot. Downtown um St Petersburg just there. And we're stood on 92 million dollars of concrete. What a lovely morning. Here's some of the other uh, restaurants then uh, tiki bars and, and things like that and I don't think I'd feel happy leaving without sitting up there for something. A Not drink. Breakfast though, because nobody seems to serve breakfast in St Pete's. It all seems to be like seafood and burgers and they all seem to open at 11-ish. No wrong with steak for breakfast. Another plane. Any good? They do breakfast, breakfast. Uh, they do breakfast sandwiches. Breakfast sandwiches? Sausage, egg and cheese, ham, egg and cheese, bacon, egg and cheese, 10 dollars. Perfect, dollars. they've been wanting a bacon sandwich for ages. Just shout breakfast and watch them come running. They're busy taking photos, I'll go tell them it stops serving in 10 minutes. <laughs> Right, we're just getting our uh, breakfast. You know what, Ash Brenda? Stop it, low. I don't know where you put all the food you eat. I don't know where it goes. Stop it, low. She's still recovering from golden crab. <laughs> Where's I've got the, um, the guava cheesecake oh Danish. My goodness, look at that pecan coffee cake. That cheese looks Danish. amazing. Look at the brownies, it's like a baby. So it's like the cheese Danish, that one there. No, that, that's that one. the cheese that's Danish. That's the cheese Danish. Oh, I that was well, the what we call cheese is not what they call cheese. No. That's the pecan no, custard. Cake. We call it, they call it cheese. Yeah. And their um, oh, sugar free ice cream there. Their ice cream looks beautiful. Right, I have got sausage, which is like a sausage patty, it's not like a sausage sausage. And he's got bacon. And I've got a guava strawberry cream cheese cheesecake. Ooh, the, the Danish cake. The bacon looks good. Is it American bacon? Looks good. Bacon. Yeah, American bacon. Very crispy and cheesy. And uh, My God. It's very nice. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Not bad at all. We keep asking ourselves where you lot put it. Oh, all this food a... you're eating. How is it? Says when you order three lots and then you're taking one home. Yeah. Right, we order one and can eat it. This is called forward planning. <laughs> so there are six restaurants to eat at. These are the six. So you've got the. Um, I can't even read that. Birch, the canopy, the birch birch and vine, birch the birchwood, the canopy, driftwood cafe, teak, and here tiki. Those bagels were so nice and they were very big, so we've actually been halved good. Everything. And we halved everything and we're taking uh, some home. No, we've got nothing for you, I'm afraid. You take it home. Nothing for you. Right, we're going to take the elevators upstairs. Right, this is floor four, the tiki bar, or the teak bar, I think it is. But we're going up to uh, floor five, the reservation, uh, observation desk. This is teak. Yeah, the restaurant teak. Yeah. Tiki bar's on the next one. I think so, yeah, level five. Pia tiki. Pia tiki, if you fancy a drink. <laughs> tiki umbrellas with a great view. All sat there for a photo. What a view for a bar. This is amazing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Should have come here last night. I told you. I told you we should have come here last night. Can you imagine it was sat here? It would have been beautiful. Watching the drone show. Yeah. Yeah, they have a drone show here on an evening. Yeah. So while everybody is taking toilet breaks, I'm going to go and check out the gift shop, which is on the very bottom floor. Restrooms and elevators down here. And then right up at the back of the pier, the door, it's not there. Oh, it's here. So this is just your uh, your typical gift shop. 
Lots of Florida t-shirts, lots of St. Petersburg t-shirts. Lots of uh, typical gifty things. Soap in a shell, by the looks of it. Nice Florida hats. Some of the Pfizer hats. It doesn't have to cover your hair up and make your hair a mess. Fridge magnet shells. Lots of um, sea type um, stuffed animals, like turtles and dolphins. And it wouldn't be a gift shop unless you got a mug in it. Alligator, pelican, seahorse and mermaid. What else they've got? Little tiny, what look like egg cups or sh shot cups. Oh, they're squishy. The kids would love them. Christmas baubles, St. Pete Christmas baubles with Santa on. All your very typical seaside kind of things. Blown glass, shark's teeth. More Christmas baubles. And if you're into your fishing, you can come and fish on the back of the pier. And then directly behind me is a uh, bait and tackle shop just there. So if you're close to the pier um, in an evening, I'm not sure what nights it is, you'll have to check out on the website. They do a drone show, a little bit like the one in Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Um, we, I saw it on a YouTube video, it looked fantastic. Looked just like Paris without yeah. the Disney stuff, obviously. <gasps> it's baking. The humidity is so high because we're close to the water, it's making, it's making your skin feel like <laughs> sticky. So we are so close to Tampa, which we think is just over just there, there, that it would be almost scandalous not to show the parents Tampa because it was one of the nicest cities we've seen in the USA, we loved it. So we're gonna take them there. I think we'll take them to the Hamptons Chocolate Factory and maybe try it. You try an ice cream this time rather than that schmore. Maybe. Yeah, the schmore wasn't good. Yeah. Um, we just wanna show them the riverfront and I think they'll absolutely love it. Can I just say as well that each, of, on this pier, they have tracks that run around it. This one here is for like skating, oh, yeah. bikes and trams. Um, and they go all around the pier. Are you gonna go for a run then? No. Run back to car? No. It's not a very big pier. To, to, to have to need it to have a tram ride but if you want a tram ride it keeps going round all the time free free i presume oh well let's get the tram back oh we could do oh yeah why not use the tram why not So the tram service around the pier to the car parks and back again it does three stops and it is totally free Right, so we got the tram back to stop number one, which is right at the beginning of the pier. Just to leave left is the Museum of Fine Arts, and then all these stalls have appeared since we came. So we obviously arrived a little bit early before it all kind of started up, so we're going to have a mooch through these now and then uh, go back to the car. Puppy stall with a puppy, a real life puppy at the puppy stall. <laughs> Can you just imagine a dog with that on its head? Yeah. <laughs> right, next stop is Tampa, which is just 32 minutes away. Right, we're here. So we've parked at the cruise terminal. There's a ship, and it was only ten dollars until midnight, which, which is cheap compared to everywhere else we've parked this weekend. Yes, it's been very um, expensive parking around uh, here. Um, so there's actually cruisers, cruise ships in the port. Yeah. This is the first time they've ever seen a cruise ship on, up, up close. So close. So, Serenade of the Sea is there. It's 962 feet long. The anthem that we went on was 1,115. Um, so it's about 200 feet longer. And the streetcar that we went on last time we were in Tampa comes all the way out here, look. Yeah. So we could uh, nip on that if we see it. So this is where we actually came before and had some food, but it looks completely different because there's a big cruise ship there, which is actually a Royal Caribbean. It's the Serenade of the Seas. We came up here on the Segways, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, up on the front and then... Oh yeah, we did, yeah, on the Segway tour, which we did a few weeks ago. 
their reaction. Of the side of the ship? Yeah, because they've never seen a cruise before. Not this close up, they've not. <laughs> Is that the closest you've been to one? Hey. Is that the closest you've been? My dad's not having a wee, by the way. He's looking at his phone in the shade. Can't see. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely it's a nick when we get close up to it and we've never been close up to one. Watch the end of the Would you like to be just getting on it and sailing off? Yeah, I would like to try one. I would like to try one. I know they are. They're more frightening than anything, aren't they? Yeah, but once you get on, you forget about it because it's just like a city. When Once you're on, you forget like you're on a ship. Well, I'd be lost. You wouldn't see me Well, at least you'd be <laughs> lost in a nice place. <laughs> I'd get lost. Now imagine if that were 153 feet longer. Oh Stop for a little drink before we take the folks around to the uh, waterfront, the riverfront. The alligator again, which Nick got on the back of last time. Oh, it's red hot! One of those, one of those apartments would do me right there on the waterfront, looking out onto these yachts. What do you think? Uh, we haven't got a million pounds to spare. Well, I know. We can dream. We're back at the bar that did the best amaretto sours in the whole of, well, USA, really. So far, that we've had. So far. Nothing's better these. That one just there. No, actually, I really liked the ones in DC. The first one, the it second one, was just nice. me, it was like pigeon snot. By pigeon snot, Nick means the uh, egg white that they can sometimes put on a amaretto cool, sour. Cool, cool spit, I meant. I thought it was really nice with it's it like on. something grabbed on a tree. Just showing the folks our hotel where we uh, stayed in we've Tampa. Actually, we've actually come in for a cool we've down. We've come in for a cool down because the um, and to use the ATM we need some money and the aircon is amazing. And the trolley trains outside, which take us back to the car park. Yeah. Into the car and back on our way to Orlando, but I'm gonna have my bacon sandwich on the way. Nick them fancy it, so we're waste not, want not. Right, an hour or so later, we are back. Horrendous A at I4 traffic. Exactly. Yes, it was, it was pretty bad. Uh, we're at Walmart uh, because the folks want to do some shopping because uh, they're going home in a couple of days. Two days. They want to get some gifts and stuff, but they also want to get some tea uh, for the villa as we are out. How can they possibly have drunk a <laughs> hundred cups of tea from that box that we got? <laughs> well, they have uh, four of them though. It doesn't last long and people like tea. Um, oh, there's Batty B waving down there. She's waving like a lollipop lady. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Why has she gone to that <laughs> entrance? Um, so we'll see what uh, what we get. Five minutes in, in fact, less than five minutes in, and I've already lost Nick. Just turned around and he gone. So I'm off on my own to have a look at. I need a new belt. Oh, <laughs> Nick's calling me. Where are you? Where are you? Hello. I'm at the belts and wallets section. Uh, I'm there now. Do need a new. Eh? You can't because I'm stood in front of belts and wallets. Where? Oh my goodness, you found a t-shirt. I mean, I quite like that one actually. How much? Uh, I didn't look at that. 14.97. That's not bad. Half the price of Disney. I haven't even... Disney. I haven't even got to look at... Uh, Is it suit? Clothes yet, yeah. You gonna try it on? Yeah. Wallet, you need a new wallet. You'll have no room in your case before long. Gotta find something to match my shoes. Which do need washing, by the way. Just found these Equate whitening strips. Equate is the Walmart brand. It um, does actually say directly compares to Crest 3D white, yeah. non-slip white strips, and professional effects. But that's, Crest is that's what? you get an LED light with that. That's sixty dollars. This is sixteen. No but, but it says 3D white. That says 3D white yeah. strips. But there's none of them that we actually regularly use, yeah. even though they're all probably the same. But all the ingredients on exactly the side the is exactly the same for a more. Harry Potter section. Plopper. Harry Potter section. T-shirts. 
Not as good in the Harry Potter t-shirts, I must admit, as the uh, Disney ones. They have lots of good Disney stuff here. Little cauldron. Don't think I'd fancy drinking out of that though. It's a cup of tea. <laughs> well, it's a it's a cup. Oh, that's a better one. Let's have a look at this one. 1997. That looks like a big mug for a nice cup of tea. Just looking for a bit of garlic bread for tonight to go with our pesto sauce and family sized pasta ragu. No, right. Is it ragu? Not ragu. Ragu. Oh, ravioli. ravioli. That's what I mean. Right. We need some um, garlic bread. Oh, Texas toast these? for garlic bread. Stuffing croutons. Right, we've got a few stuff again oh, out not for tonight. No barcode. On this. No barcode. Oh. Yeah, but it's different, it's different product. Do you really need it? Yes. Put it back. No. Nope. Is this done? Yeah, this um, Walmart is very busy again, isn't it? Oh, it is. <laughs> My mum's head's done in. It's mental. It's mental. <laughs> Just let's get back to Al. Aldi. Well, there's Aldi's Aldi here as well. Hello. It's too busy here. Right. The uh, joyous task of shopping at Walmart with six people all wanting different things to eat is Head over. Head west. Head west. Then, then turn left. Turn left. Is over and done with. Well, um, they're still in there, so don't never say never. There, we've left them. <laughs> Um, so you're back online. We were going to go to the um, wheel yet again. It's closed. There's a severe thunderstorm alert out for right now and for the rest of the night. And it's raining. It started to rain. There's thunder and lightning all over this place. I'm kind of excited about it because I, I do quite like it when it happens. But it means the wheel has stopped again. We checked on the webcam. Um, this so, should be done in the morning, I think. Yeah, maybe. Take the next right onto Magic Tree Drive, then continue. So we're going to head back Westgate and um, chill. It's actually been a long day. Um, we continue only filmed bits and bats, but it's six o'clock and it's just felt like a long day. Thirty-four degrees as well, and uh, sticky as an otter's pocket. Are you going right or left? Straight on. Oh. Um, so we're going to head back, and we got some chicken and garlic roasted ga ravioli with. Pesto, pesto sauce and, and garlic, some garlic bread. bread some yogurts and we've already got some um, um drink there and we need to start putting some washing in now because yeah. we're on the last two days last couple of days that we get the villa. towels done so i need to get all me any dirty clothes i've got out and get those in the uh, washer dryer tonight and just relax the rain's getting heavier i'm kind of hoping that there's a big, big storm coming. You're repeating yourself now. And we can just get into the um, back of the villa, maybe get in the pool, just have a drink and... Oh, um, I'm sure it's just thundered. Watch and listen to the thunderstorm. Proper hive of activity in the uh, kitchen tonight. Tidying up a bit here, Nick's doing some pasta. My dad's picking all the, the uh, chicken off the, chicken the bones. I don't be doing me. Um, <laughs> chicken and salads uh, happening here. We're having and, um, chicken and roasted garlic ravioli yeah. with pesto and cream cheese. And then you'll be picking all up. My auntie Brenda wants to share with you, Nick. She don't like pasta. And then <laughs> we're having a massive garlic bread. That's just, these are like 2 98 at Walmart. That is half of it. The other half is in the oven. What are you doing with that then? Saving it for tomorrow. Since um, there's enough of this to have two meals running. And then I'm going to mix some cream cheese in with this as well, just to cream it up. Cream cheese, you know. I bought this from Walmart earlier. Thought my skin might need some hydration from all the sun it's had over the last uh, few weeks. And all this sun cream and stuff that we keep putting on and all the alcohol we're drinking and all the sugary food we're eating. Diet starts soon when we get back home. So we've had a few, well, a couple of hours just chilling by the Why pool. Why are you talking like your lips don't move? My uh, folks and Aunt Brenda and Uncle Brian went in the pool. We just had a chill around the pool tonight, didn't go in. I've been doing laundry. Nick's been doing some laundry, I'm just doing some editing. Not editing, just like backing up all the footage and stuff that we've done over the last couple of days. Um, so, um, hopefully, tomorrow, on the next video, um, I'm going to try and get the folks to Celebration Diner for breakfast because it's their last full day here and I really want to take them to Celebration Diner for breakfast and I know they want to do it as well but they do like to get up before us Eight. and have their breakfast here uh, no matter how many times they can just wait an extra half an hour for us to get up um, but um, we'll see how it goes I'd like to take them there 
And hopefully the weather's going to be nicer. I'm here. Nick's in his pants. Yes, you can always see my head. Um, I'm currently setting the laptop up using Surfshark, um, which we've um, shown you guys before in our videos and we'll be showing you again later on. Um, I've connected it back to the UK. We're going to go and watch the latest episode of Picard. Yeah, yeah. The very final. Yeah, yeah. That's very pretty. Nice. Um, and hopefully the weather is nice. I know I keep saying it, probably people are getting bored now. Hopefully we can try and get them on the wheel as well. Um, Just got to get rid of sodding storms in Florida. Yeah, I don't know what else we need to do. We need to do it in the morning. morning. Well, what we'll do tomorrow morning is we'll go... Breakfast. And then straight up to wheel. the wheel. Yeah. Um, so thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below, hit the like button, and um, we'll see you on the next Florida video. Bye. When we uh, have our last day with my parents. Bye. Bye. Bye.